Hey guys, welcome to another lunch time review. Today I'm going to try this Healthy Choice Zero meal. And it says it's new, 8 grams of net carbs. I don't know how new it is, but it says it's new. It is carne asada. It is tender braised all natural beef strips with yellow squash, greens, a greens blend, bell peppers, tomatoes and onions, and an ancho chili sauce. No added sugar, low carb lifestyle. It is 9.25 ounces or 262 grams for the meal. Look, the picture looks pretty good. And we bought this at Meyer for $3.99. I'm sure they sell it other places, but that happens to be where we got it at. 200 calories, which isn't bad at all. It's pretty low calorie. Um, there's your other information for you. It does have some cholesterol in it though, so if you need that. And sodium's uh, not too awfully bad, but it is there. And there's the other information for you. So, directions, directions, they're on the bottom. Duh. Um, so microwave, we're going to microwave in high for four to four and a half minutes. No need to vent, or four to five minutes. I'll probably do four and a half minutes. Don't vent it. Let it sit for one minute in the microwave. Check that it's hot. And that's it. So yeah, four, so four and a half minutes. It does have a, um, a tear strip so you don't get paper cuts. It's always good. And there's the meal. So uh, I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'm not going to touch it. Just going to put it in there just like that, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave, and you can really smell those greens. I'll tell you what, I mean, it's uh, the strong greens. Sorry. Go. Steamed up the camera lens. Uh, but yeah, you can really smell the greens. Um, it smells like spinach, uh, maybe chard. I don't know. I'd have to look at the ingredients. But anyway, get a little bit of that pepper smell. But not much it's mostly greens so i'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and uh, i'll be right back well it's cooling off i thought i smelled and it looked like chard in there so the dark leafy greens are a healthy blend of kale chard spinach and adds rich color and flavor the, the vegetables are green bell peppers yellow squash tomatoes red onions poblano peppers um beef it's just seasoned beef and the sauce is um Peppers, ancho chilies, tomato paste, cumin, garlic, oregano with a touch of heat. Hmm. So, there we go. I doubt I'll be able to get everything in this bite, but I'll try to get a little bit of everything if I can. It's still steaming. Tell you what, those greens are pretty strong. And the, the heat from the peppers um, is a little strong too. I'm sure it's the chilies. I was trying to get just a bite of the chicken, or the beef, I mean. I like the beef. It's got a good texture to it. It's not um, tough or gritty or grainy or anything like that. It's got a good texture to it. And it has a pretty good seasoning to it by itself. I tell you what, the greens are really, 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 really strong. I don't mind spinach and kale and stuff like that, but I don't want them overpowering. And these are almost, th these are so many of them, there's, they're almost to the point of being, well, they are to the point of being overpowering. That's pretty much all you taste. Um, trying not to get as many greens. I do have to say everything's cooked really well in here. There are no um, really hard, um, crunchy, crunchy pieces. They're all fairly soft, um, which I kind of like. I like my vegetables really cooked, so I like this. If you're more on the uh, blanched, crispy vegetable side, you, you probably think that these are going to be all too soft and overcooked for you. Um, I like the steak. I like the flavor of the chilies. I like the tomato in there. Um, even the zucchini doesn't bother me at all. I mean, the squash, it's fine as well. I like the squash. But um, the greens in there, they put way too many greens in there, if you ask me. They needed to increase the number of, uh, of other things besides greens. So anyway, for me, this is a three. It's okay. You get a little burn in the back of your throat from the chilies. Um, but pretty much the flavor of the beef and everything is just killed out by the greens. But that's, that's it, literally. You get a little heat from the chili. You get a little bit of a chili flavor and then greens. And uh, yeah, just, just really overpowers the meal. So 
Three out of five for me, it's not bad. It's definitely edible, but it's not something I'd go back to regularly because it's just too strong. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.